Of course, <laughs> we are most delighted. <laughs> but at the same time, we feel deeply humble. Uh, we think that uh, uh, there, there, there are good guys in, uh, in this in the industry. There are good competitors out there. But most importantly, uh, I think I take credit uh, for this award uh, in recognizing, it gives recognition uh, to the hard work uh, that has been done by uh, our team at uh, First Read. Uh, we have a very strong team, a very good team. Uh, I'd like to mention two uh, individual names in particular. The CEO, Dr. Ronnie Tan, and we have a good uh, CFO, uh, Victor, Victor Tan as well. I tell you, in this sort of business, you need to know, you need to know the, 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 the real side of business, which here in this case, hospitals. But you need to know, be good in finance, uh, the capital management. All that. But all, overall, we have a very small, but we have a very good team. And they work very hard. Uh, they know their business. They're very focused. And I hope that uh, uh, through them, uh, we have delivered uh, very good values to our shareholders and to uh, uh, we started with a capitalization of a miserable 200 million. We are now uh, over a one billion dollar company, and over nine years or so uh, to be five times the size. Uh, that's very good. And every year we've been paying. Every year we're paying good money to shareholders, and uh, and it's so delightful each time we open an AGM and you have uh, shareholders to say uh, thank you so much. Uh, continue to do the good work, and and that's. Uh, Compliment enough, and uh, and tonight, tonight, uh, tonight, I what uh, compliments exactly what the shareholders have been telling us, and we will continue to work hard. So that give us this is uh, we feel humble that uh, we have a job to do. We will continue to work hard and continue to create value and give value to the shareholders. Uh, I want to thank the sh in, on this occasion, thank the shareholders for all these years uh, uh, holding their shares and buying the shares and. and Staying, giving support to us as well. Uh, that pleases us very much. Oh, the industry as a whole, as you know, uh, uh, these couple of years, the, the global economy is not so strong. Uh, even the regional economy is not so strong. But uh, to, on our particular line of business, uh, the REIT business, I'm still very confident that this is, a, this is an area that will, will continue well. If you take a long-term view, don't come to read and take a short term view and expect put money in today and make money tomorrow. It's a, it's a, it's a long term business. It's a growing business. It's for those who know how to look at something and how to grow it, and which is the way we, have, we at first read have, has done it and we will continue to do it. So in particular, read, there are many types of read, uh, various parts of read business. I think uh, uh, the, the area where we are in, the hospital read will continue to do well, right? And uh, I think the uh, office read is okay. I think there are some strong pressures on the uh, in industrial reads and the hotel reads. Uh. There's some pressure, and as you know, the uh, economic climate is not so good. But uh, generally, uh, read is a good thing to invest in. Uh, it is well reg regulated. Uh, there are tax concessions attached to it, and actually, at the end of the day, what makes uh, read quite different from other uh, lines of uh, products or, or shares they buy. REITs, REITs are involved in hard, hard assets, hard assets, you know, things that you can touch. In a hospital business that we are in, you can touch it and you know these are hard assets that generate returns. You know? So you're not just buying uh, something uh, what you call invisible or in, in, uh, in, invisible and uh, and cannot see, and uh, it's not those those sort of uh, intangible type assets. These are real assets. And uh, hospital, we are we are lucky. I, well, I keep stressing hospital not because I want to uh, praise uh, or put a good word for the line of business we're in, but hospital, as you know, is in a way uh, cyclical, neutral. So whether good times or bad times, people do get sick, you know, and then so that provides a, a continuum flow of business to the hospital industry and through us, because we own hospitals, right? We started with uh, one, and now we have plus the, uh, plus the uh, nursing homes, uh, 17, we intend to grow more. So uh, this is, uh, so that's the general view of the REIT uh, business. Uh, uh, the good, and strong areas are the hospital REITs where we are in, uh, the hospital REITs, and uh, maybe office REITs I think should, because of the, 
uh, scarcity uh, that's coming up. Uh, but there are some soft spots, uh, some pressures on uh, industrial REITs and, uh, and the hotel REITs. But then, the, the, my general comment at this stage.